Mine's rolling. Well, hey, we're down at the Timeless Arts refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. We got this beautiful little uh, Zenith radio here. It's uh, gonna go in an ebony finish. It was ebony from the factory. Um, it's been stripped, it's been sanded up, it's been sealed up. Uh, did a little, couple little hot patches on here. Um, on the radio, there's a couple of little dings here and there. So we're gonna put on a couple of coats of black here. Um, after I put a couple of coats of black on that thing, it's gonna set um, overnight and then it will be sanded again. And I'll put another, you know, two, three, four coats on it. Tomorrow, it'll set overnight again. Then I'll sand it up one more time, put a few coats on it. I'll probably get six or seven, eight coats on here. Then I'll come back and I'll pull this paper off in here and kind of clean up around it here. Um, then maybe tape it back off again and reshoot it. I'm not quite sure what uh, sheen I'm going to go with on this yet because we've got some old fret work in here that had not been refinished because the grill cloth wouldn't come out. So I think that the owner kind of wants the, the outside as close to the sheen as the remaining original black. So, but right now we're going to start with a few coats of uh, black lacquer on here after it's been sealed. So enjoy the magic. It's a real fast drying material. It dries the touch in probably maybe 15 minutes. But I really don't want to put more than a couple, two coats or maybe three at the most on it per day because you uh, down in a crack to the crevices, you'll get bridging if you build up too many coats of material on it in too quick a time. So it's really better to just put a few coats on, let it harden overnight, sand it good, repeat the process.
take the camera. My knee is too shot. Thank you. Okay, well here's what we're, we got going on here right now. I hope there's not too much glare on the top. This is just the start right now. So there's the front of it, twirling it around to the side. We got it taped up back here. It's taped up on the bottom side underneath because there's uh, some uh, markings on there. And we're taped up up top right across in here because they had a stamping on the back of that. And of course we got it stamp covered back to the back side. This here is the way it was when it came to me. But I'll clean that up and shoot that inside there a little bit for you. So yeah, like I said, this is uh, what she's looking like after uh, just a couple of coats. It already looks like a million dollars. And once that uh, hardens up, sorry, I'm standing in front of the other camcorder. Once this uh, hardens up, it's gonna shrink and tighten up and uh, I'm gonna come back and sand it again and respray it and give you a, a real trophy here. So thank you and have a good day.